in this video we will see testing of transformer by back to back method or it is also called as sumpness test or it is also called as two transformers test why sumpness test is conducted to determine ability to withstand overload conditions and to determine the temperature rise of the transformer under overload conditions why the name sumpness test the sumpness test is named after its inventor a british engineer named james sumpner in late 19th century his other contribution includes invention of sumpness dynamometer and the sumpness arc lamp requirements to conduct the sumpness test this is done by connecting two identical transformer back to back the primaries of the two transformer are connected in parallel the secondaries of two transformers should be connected in series advantage with the sumpness test simultaneously the two transformers are tested this test is conducted by applying rated voltage and rated current this test is best suitable for large size transformers for a large size transformers it is very difficult to get full load in labs in this experiment the power drawn from the source is just to sufficient to overcome losses in both the device this is most economical method of testing as the power is drawn only to meet the losses the results obtained are very accurate because we are applying the rated voltage and rated current the temperature rise is also considered this is the complete equivalent circuit of sumpness test part by part we will analyze what is the circuit diagram auto transformer setup this is a one more auto transformer setup two auto transformer are used one auto transformer in primary circuit and second auto transformer in the secondary circuits to get a variable voltage we are using auto transformer primary of a first transformer primary of the second transformer secondary of the first transformer secondary of the second transformer the primary should be connected in parallel hence both the primaries are connected in parallel the secondary should be connected in series across the series connection one voltmeter is connected this voltmeter is used to check the polarities to measure the voltage current and power we are using voltage meter ammeter and watt meter on the primary circuit and as well as on the secondary circuit now we'll see the procedure for conducting sumpness test initially the dpst switch in the lv circuit is closed after closing the dpst switch increase the output voltage of the auto transformer 1 until the rated lv voltage is applied that can be seen in this voltmeter no down voltmeter reading ammeter reading and wattmeter reading as a transformer being open circuited the wattmeter wlv reads no load active power approximately equivalent to the iron losses in both the transformers check the voltmeter reading v3 if it reads zero the secondary of both the transformers are connected properly that is in series opposition if this voltmeter reads twice the voltage interchange any two secondary winding either interchange the winding ab or interchange the winding cd close the dpst switch increase this voltage until this ammeter reads the rated current on the secondary side the current ihv flowing in the hv winding causes current ihv dash to get induced in lv winding by transformer action hence wattmeter w2 reads copper losses in both the windings and in both the transformers now we'll see the analysis part we will get only one set of readings reading of vlv reading of ilv and wattmeter reading this wattmeter will reads the iron losses in both the machines to make the calculation simple we will visualize this readings as open circuit test and the short circuit test as we know that the primary of first transformer and the primary of the second transformer are connected in parallel hence the voltage across the both the transformers will be same hence let me write the voltage across lv 
is nothing but VOC. In parallel, the voltages are same. As the current get divided, the current ILV can be written as 2 times the current IOC. That is, IOC is equal to ILV divided by 2. And similarly, the wattmeter reading WLV. As I told, this wattmeter reads 2 times the iron losses in both the machines. Hence, I can write WOC or WOC is equal to watt meter reading divided by 2. From this, now we can determine the values of R0 and X0 just by conventional method. We know that WOC is equal to VOC into IOC into cos 5OC. As we know VOC, this is the VOC, we know IOC and we know WOC. Substitute everything in this equation and it get the value of cos 5OC. After getting the value of cos 5OC, get the value of sin 5OC. Now get the values of IW and I0. IW is equal to IOC into cos 5OC. Similarly, the magnetizing current, I magnetizing is equal to IOC into sin 5OC. Next, get the values of or not, or not is equal to VOC divided by IW. IW is calculated here and VOC is calculated earlier. And X0 is equal to VOC divided by I magnetizing current. Remember this or not and X0 are with respect to LV side. Based on our requirements, we, we can shift this LV side to the HV side. Now, we will substitute all these values in the equivalent circuit. This is the value of R0. This is the value of X0. This is the IW. And this is the magnetizing current. And this is the total no load current. Let me call this as the IOC. These are the values obtained tabular column from SC test. Here also we will get one set of reading, serial number 1. We will note down the value of VHV and IHV. This will read the copper losses in both the machine. We will see the calculation part. As a secondary winding or in series, the total voltage VHV is divided across the two windings. Hence, let me write this as VHV is equal to 2 times the VSC. VSC is the voltage across each winding on the secondary side. They are in series. IHV is equal to ISC. WSC is equal to WHV divided by now, we will get the equivalent resistance and reactance referred to HV side. We know that from the short circuit test, WSC is equal to ISC square into equivalent resistance referred to HV side. Equivalent resistance referred to HV side is equal to WSC by ISC square. Here we got the value of WSC and here we got the value of ISC. Next, get the value of equivalent impedance referred to HV side. ZD of HV is equal to VSC divided by ISC. Here we got the value of VSC and we know the value of ISC. Substitute that, get the value of equivalent impedance referred to the HV side. Next, get the value of equivalent reactance referred to HV side by using this formula. Now, all the values what we obtain here is with respect to HV side. Based on our requirement, we can shift this to LV side also. Now, we will substitute all these values in the equivalent circuit. Equivalent resistance referred to HV side. Total equivalent reactance referred to HV side. This is a complete equivalent circuit. Before substituting in this equivalent circuit, 
we should make sure that R naught X naught R E and X E should be with respect to L V side or all these values should be with respect to H V side R naught X naught I am assuming that all the values are with respect to L V side R E of L V X E of L V this is a V2 dash this is V1 this is I O C or I naught and this is the current I1 this is the complete equivalent circuit of the transformer once after getting equivalent circuit of a transformer we can determine the efficiency or we can determine the voltage regulation also. Thank <laughs> you.